Hello my friends, this is going to be a general love reading about what's coming towards you in love. This is going to be just general, random, we'll see what comes out. We have autumn, so something could have happened in autumn. Um, you could have met someone, maybe you're going to meet someone, but we'll see, we'll see. Before I get too into it, let's see what comes out. <laughs> let's see what's coming towards this collective in love. We have unexpected, so something unexpected is about to happen perhaps meeting someone new perhaps someone from your past perhaps it's a pop-in <clears throat> we have celebrate so it feels like oh my gosh you guys you guys it feels like there's an unexpected reason to celebrate unexpected surprise so it could be that you meet someone out of the blue or someone could return out of the blue. Let's see what else comes out. Beautiful. A reason to celebrate. Beautiful. An unexpected reason to celebrate. For some of you, maybe a baby. It doesn't have to be. We have life partner. Love of a lifetime. Marriage. So it feels like you're about to experience meeting a soulmate or coming back together with a soulmate um reason to celebrate and look perhaps you're at this reason to celebrate it does show an older couple so perhaps you're at some type of wedding anniversary celebration for relatives or friends or something and you run in or meet your soulmate beautiful feels like this person is going to be your life partner. Um, we have the universe, trust in the universe, divine timing. So something unexpected happens. Unexpected celebrate, maybe unexpected meeting at a celebration. And it's all happening in divine timing. <clears throat> True love, divine union. What's happening? All the pretty cards are coming up for you. Healing. My friends, what's happening here? It feels to me like you've been working on healing. I'm hearing for some of you with this healing card, it says difficult self-truths, acknowledgement, inner work. And I feel for some of you that someone from your past may pop in and surprise you with a different, like completely different mindset about how things went down between you, I'm hearing. Um, we do have divine union here and it feels like this is unexpected. So like I said, either you have healed and acknowledged difficult self-truths and spirits like, okay, green light, go, let's bring them their person, stat. <laughs> or this is someone from your past unexpectedly healing wanting union let's get a few more we have wishes wishes do come true it could happen to you if you're young at heart <laughs> wishes coming true wish fulfillment the stars aligning what's happening interesting i'm gonna get one more oh okay so we have third party, and I said, I need one more because these cards do not scream third party. And we have forgiveness. So there's the tip off of what this is. Um, I feel like this is someone who put you in a third party situation, whether that was work, whether that was another person. And now they're coming in looking for forgiveness, acknowledging difficult self-truths. It's coming out of nowhere. Perhaps you haven't spoken to this person in a while. Perhaps you thought they would never apologize for putting you in a third party. Um, but this shows the two of you getting together here. Two more and then we'll get tarot. Two more, spirit. Two more. Show me two more. Autumn. You guys could have separated in the autumn or met in the autumn or somebody could have a birthday in the autumn. But look, we have truth and clarity. Unexpected, out of the blue, somebody comes in acknowledging difficult self-truths, giving you clarity. This says keep going, you're almost there. So if you've been manifesting this past person back, spirit's saying keep going. Like if you're resonating with this message, keep going. 
All right, so let's get tarot for these. <clears throat> if that sounds like it's resonating, what tarot do I want to use? I kind of want to use the Light Sears tarot. Oh. King of Swords, Truth and Clarity. Someone who's changed, someone who's looking different, someone who's coming in with wisdom. Very interesting. Could be an air sign. Someone who has a lot of regret. Lots of regret here. Very interesting, my friends. That's that truth and clarity. Interesting. So let's see what's coming towards you in love in this situation. What can you tell me about this situation, spirit? We have four of swords in reverse. So someone is... Ah! I told you! I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I did other readings today. They were not like this. <laughs> I told you. Someone who you haven't heard from in a while, out of the blue, surprise. <laughs> Someone who had a really hard time reflecting about what they needed to reflect about. Someone you've been on a break with, perhaps indefinitely is coming out of the Four of Swords energy with communication and truth and clarity. I told you. It's right there. I told you. Interesting. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, we have the lovers. Remember your wishes card? And the divine union? Oh my gosh. That's insane. That's insane. The fool, new beginning. Anyway, let's keep shuffling. That was interesting. So we've got someone coming out of Four of Swords energy. Who is this person? Who is this person? Ace of Cups, someone wanting a renewal. Someone that you intuitively knew was coming. Um, very interesting. We have Six of Cups, so definitely past person. Hanged man, oh my gosh. Definitely. Look. Hang on, I'm dropping cards everywhere. So we have the High Priestess, so it feels like this is someone who you intuitively know is coming towards you. That's that keep going, don't give up. We have Six of Cups and Hanged Man. So someone from your past, soulmate energy, just like those white cards. Surprise! <laughs> I'm surrendering to this now. Surprise! Death and rebirth, do beginning. Um, anyway, someone acknowledging difficult self-truths, Hanged Man energy wanting to communicate that with you. Six of Cups, wanting to reconnect. Love of a lifetime. Remember. Remember. Tell me more about this person's spirit. Tell me more. We've got the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. There it is. So there's someone in Hermit Energy. Someone in Hermit Energy who can't stop thinking about how you're their emotional fulfillment. Very interesting. And we've got the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So this is someone who's trying to figure out when to come in. This could have been someone who in the past was inconsistent, but they're trying to figure out how to communicate with you here, Eight of Wands. They want forward movement. They want to move on from this Hermit energy. Um, very interesting. I don't think I want to take all these. These two are the ones that came out. death and rebirth this person wanting a fresh start i told you um how is this person feeling about you right now we have the nine of pentacles of course of course so you're looking very good my friend nine of pentacles they see you as being someone very independent you could be glowing right now you could be shining at work you could be single you could be attracting in offers they're seeing you very um stable right now we have Ace of Swords. They're seeing you very clearly. They can see you quite clearly. They've had some type of breakthrough moment about you. Um, Ace of Swords can sometimes show like a ring around a knife, symbolic of, oh, that's the one that I want for me to have my happy ending with. Um, you could have started some kind of new job with this as well. Like maybe they're seeing you go through a change, you know? They have clarity about you. 
I'm also getting with this card that this person can't stop thinking about you. Look at that spiral. Like they're just, they're constantly like, how should I communicate? This is also about communication. It's clear this person wants to communicate with you. Um, let's see how you're feeling about them. Came out really quick. Interesting. We have the devil here. So you could feel like you could have been attached to this person at some point codependently. You could feel like they're attached to someone else codependently. You could feel like this person didn't want to look at their shadows. We have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups can symbolize in the reverse healing inner work is needed and i feel like you're looking at this person like inner work was needed like they needed to work on themselves they needed to acknowledge those difficult self-truths devil energy and we have the page of wands so it feels to me like you're still thinking about this person or your intuition still sends you downloads about this person with the page of wands um, the Page of Wands, you know, you could see this person fearing commitment with the devil. This person could have also been in a superficial connection, maybe a marriage before they met you. Um, interesting. Let's see their intention towards you. What is their intention towards you? We have the Queen of Cups. So this is about being it's about them coming in towards you i looked it up this morning and this is about them coming towards you very caring compassionate nature they're not coming in in lower vibrational energy they're not coming in for a fight they're coming in in this very em empathetic i think is the right word and compassionate energy wanting to this is their intention they want to give to this they want to nurture this they want to I have a great personality. That's your affirmation. I have a great personality. <laughs> um, it feels to me like they want to show you compassion. They intend to come towards you with love and compassion rather than with fear and anger. Let's see their next actions. I already know what they're going to do because we've got the Eight of Wands out. Three of Cups. There it is. Communication. One more. Interesting. Oh, what is happening? We have the King of Cups. So it really does feel like this person wants to match your energy. Look at you. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> anyway, this person's actions are very interesting because they're coming in wanting to apologize. Three of Swords in reverse. Wanting to heal this wound. Acknowledging, I just keep seeing acknowledging difficult self-truths and then bringing you truth and clarity. We have the Three of Cups in the upright, which is wanting to talk to you, wanting to exchange energy with you, wanting to, I always call it more of social energy. So it feels like this person wants to apologize, ask you how you're doing. There's a very loving, gentle energy coming in with this person. Um, and that could be surprising to you because maybe in the past they weren't. We also have the Five of Swords in reverse, which is about healing after an argument. So this person wants to have some kind of social conversation, social meeting. Um, remember that party card. You could run into this person at some type of social activity. And this person says like, oh, I've been thinking about you lately. Like I wanted to reach out. I'm really sorry, whatever that is for you. What comes after this meeting? What's changing after this meeting? We have, I knew it, I saw it out in reverse. I was like, yes, it flipped out in reverse. Seven of cups, clarity. No more confusion, no more clouded judgment. Very clear here. You're gonna have that clarity. Ace of swords, clarity. King of swords, this person bringing you clarity and we have the lovers. <laughs> <clears throat> clarity on love and a new beginning i'm here for it <clears throat> look we have clarity on love on this connection this is a choice an offer an offer of love look at that and we have a new beginning i feel like you two choosing each other choosing a fresh start it's beautiful 
It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. <laughs> What's next for the two of you crazy kids? <laughs> what are you two crazy kids getting up to? What's next? What's the future of this connection? You crazy kids. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Three of Wands. Beautiful forward movement. Progression. Star wish fulfillment. So nice. So nice. My other readings weren't like this. <laughs> anyway, very beautiful wish fulfillment, healing, hope, reconnection, forward movement. Very positive cards, my friend. Beautiful. That's what's coming towards you. So let's see if any other oracle cards want to come out for you. What shall we get? Let me pause it for a minute while I look. <laughs> I'm having an incredibly hard time choosing a deck, so I thought if I hit record, I would choose it faster. <laughs> so let's see. Let's do this one. Let's do the fortune one. We have Phoenix! <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Rebirth. Rising above adversity. And we have Unicorn there. Beautiful. 25 Phoenix is also chariot energy 25 chariot energy be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis oh my gosh we have unity 34 empress and emperor energy forward movement we have seven seven we have seven seven <laughs> a time of divine understanding renewal and peace of peace and hope you radiate and attract love. That's what was in your cards. Anyway, <clears throat> that's magic. Phoenix energy and unity. I'm keeping it. Spirit, I'm keeping it. <laughs> A time of divine understanding. Look at it. Look. Look at that. Just look at it. <laughs> we have lion. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. And it's 16, which makes me think of building a new foundation with your person, being fearless. Beautiful. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. We have plane. Traveling. Movement. Change. Leaving behind stagnancy. Moving forward, three of wands, beautiful. Beautiful, my friends, just beautiful. <laughs> um, I actually wanna get one of these. We have luck, interesting, water energy. So what is coming towards you? We have emotion for emperor energy, someone sharing their emotion with you. This card actually warns that you may have a conversation with someone who is not as emotionally balanced as you are and you may need to watch your reaction. So keep in mind, keep that in mind. Why is it so dark all of a sudden? Weird. We have passion seven, 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 seven. Passion, beat root, Leo energy. Um, and this, I've, I told you guys last week, this beats are sometimes, I see them on world cards. So completion, fulfillment, the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new passionate adventure, seven chariot energy after possibly an emotional conversation. Let's get one more and then I'll end it because I'm at my last. Abundance, 23 beautiful grapes. Abundance, happiness, fulfillment, beautiful. Water energy. I don't know what that symbol is. Anyway, beautiful abundance, growth, beautiful sweetness, beautiful. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.